Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I've showed you guys how you can make your own bujo supplies or stuff to decorate your bujo with. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use them to decorate your bullet journal. Hope that you guys enjoy today's video and without further ado, let's get started! So first of all, I'm going to take out the pages that I'm going to decorate. I prefer decorating them outside of the binder because the ring kind of gets in the way, so I prefer taking them out. And here I'm using the watercolor memo pad that we made in my last video. And I'm just going to stick it down using my glue tape. Here I'm sticking it onto the first page. And then we're going to use the doodle sticker that we made too. I just used two of them. So the first one is on the bottom corner and the other one on the top corner. I'm also going to use some of the cutout stickers. I think that they will fit the spread a lot. And here I'm using another kind of cutout stickers and put them on the top right corner. And for this week, instead of writing down the day of the week, I'm actually going to put down the date only. I also used some washi tape to decorate the bottom part, which I'm going to stick some cutout stickers again later. So here I have my donuts cut out stickers, I think they are the cutest design ever. And we also made this in our last video, so if you haven't checked that video yet, I'm going to leave the link to it on the description box and also put it on the info box, so be sure to check it out so that you guys know how I make the surprises. So now let's move on to the second page. So here I'm just using the memo pad that we made in our last video and then I stick it on using the glue tape and simply use my scissors to cut off the excess. To make the day boxes, I'm actually going to use the same memo paper just with different designs. So I just cut them up so that they are the same size and then I simply stick them from top to bottom. So I just used the same memo paper that I used to cover the top part, but this time I'm going to cover the bottom part. I'm also going to decorate the boxes or the memo paper using some more cutout stickers, and also don't forget to stick the date. Moving on, I'm going to use this pattern sticker, which I'm going to use to stamp out the day of the week. So after I stamp out every single one of the name, I just simply use my scissors to cut it out. And now the only thing that is left to do is to simply stick the name on their places. So here I just use another doodle sticker and cutout sticker to decorate the empty spaces. And so last, I just simply do what I usually do, which is to decorate the empty spaces using my gold pen. And I'm done. Now the only thing that is left to do is to simply put in the spread into my binder. And this is what they look like afterwards. So 90% of the things I use in today's spread are all made in my last video. So if you guys haven't watched that video yet, be sure to watch it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to like and subscribe. Bye!